Probably should have phrased that better. How do I find the distance between the distance and midpoint between two points? But you get the idea, right? Yes. Excellent. The distance between two points. And what we're talking about today is points on the number line. The distance is going to be equal to the absolute value of x sub 1 minus x sub 2. Very simple. The distance between two points is equal to the absolute value of the coordinate of the first point minus the coordinate of the second point. We'll do some examples in just a second. I want you to get the formulas first. The midpoint. To find the midpoint between two points, you first find the distance between the two points, which is using the same formula. You take the distance and you divide it by two. Take the distance between the points, you divide it by two, and then you add that number to the first point. That gives you the coordinate of the midpoint. Distance formula. Okay, I'm just going to repeat this again. It's the absolute value of x1 minus x2. The midpoint formula is the absolute value of x1 minus x2 divided by 2 and then added to the coordinate of the first point. Any questions there? All right, so now right below that in your, note, in your notes, draw a number line. And go ahead and label it negative 6 to positive 6. On your number line, let's put point A at negative 6, point B at negative 3, put a C at negative 2, put D at 1, E is on 5, and we'll put F on 6. And now we're going to do two types of problems. We're going to do distance problems, and we're going to do midpoint problems. So we'll start off, we'll do distance first. If we're going to find the distance from A to D. Okay? The distance from A to D is equal to the absolute value of the coordinate at A. What's the coordinate at A? Negative 6 minus the coordinate at D, which is 1. Six, negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. And what is the absolute value of negative 7? 7. So the distance from A to D is equal to 7. Everybody okay with that?
Let's find the distance now from E to B. From E to B. The distance from E to B is going to be equal to the absolute value of, what's the coordinate at E? It's 5. Minus the coordinate at B? Negative 3. Very good. Now, we're subtracting a negative. Don't you keep change, change? Keep change, change. This is going to be the absolute value of 5 plus 3, which is 8. So, E to B. What's the absolute value of 8? Eight. Absolute value of 8 is 8. Remember that absolute value is how far the number is from 0 on the number line. Absolute value is always positive. It's the first, the coordinate of the first point, the coordinate of the first letter minus the coordinate of the second letter, and then find the absolute value. Clear on distance. Any questions? Okay, now, right here underneath your notes, go ahead and write midpoint, and we're going to do some midpoint examples. But I'm going to erase this stuff so I don't have to draw my number line again. Y'all wish you can do that, don't you? It's like having a, a real life etching sketch. That's mid point. Mid. So y'all got me all off track. Now we're going to find the midpoint between two points. Let's find the midpoint between B and F. Midpoint. B, F. Midpoint of segment BF. All right, that's the absolute value of the coordinate at B is negative 3 minus the coordinate at F, 9. I'm sorry, 6. We're going to take that and divide it by 2. What are we going to add to it? The negative 3, very good. That's going to give us the coordinate of the midpoint. So we're going to have the absolute value of negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9 divided by 2 plus negative 3. What's the absolute value of negative 9? Nine? 9 divided by 2, 4.5 plus negative 3. 4.5 plus negative 3 equals 1.5. 1.5 is the midpoint of segment BF. Okay? What you're doing is you're finding the distance between the distance of the segment, dividing it by 2, and you're adding it to your x sub 1. That was so much fun, we're going to do it one more time. Right? Okay. Little, like, squiggly. Alright, so now let's find the midpoint of, I don't know, DA. Midpoint of DA is going to be the absolute value of D, which is 1 minus negative 6 divided by 2 plus our first point, which is 1. Bad example, this isn't going to work.
you're going to want to add it to your smallest coordinate. Okay? You're going to want to add it to your smallest coordinate. You're going to want to add it to the 6, the negative 6. Does that make sense? We're trying to find a coordinate. We're trying to find the midpoint of these two. Agreed? So if we find the distance divided by 2 and add it to the D, it's going to be over here somewhere, isn't it? You always want to add it to the smallest value. Yep. Add it to the smallest value. All right, so the 1 minus the negative 6. Uh, 1 minus negative 6, that's going to be 7, the absolute value of 7, 7 divided by 2, 3.5 plus the negative 6. 3.5 plus negative 6, negative 2.5. And that would be right about here, wouldn't it? And look where that is, it's right in the middle of that segment. So you find the distance between the two points, you divide it by two, and then you add it to the smallest coordinate. Okay? Where did I get 2? You mean this 2, the divided by 2? That's just, um, that's a constant in the formula. All right? What that does, since, what that does, if I gave you this picture, and I asked you to give me the midpoint, what's the midpoint between 0 and 10? Five. It's 5, isn't it? Well, how'd you get that? What you did was you found the distance between 0 and 10, right? Mm -hmm. Which is 10. You divided it by 2, which is 5. And 0 plus 5 is 5. That's the process that you did, but it's, those are easy numbers, so you just did it in your head real fast. Done. If I gave you this picture, and negative 5 and 5. And I said, what's the coordinate of the midpoint? You would say 0. And if I asked you how, you would say, because it just is, and I would agree with you. But what you really did was the distance from negative 5 to 5 is 10 units, isn't it? And since we're finding the middle, we're finding the average. So if we divide 10 by 2 again, we get 5. And if we take negative 5 plus 5, it puts us at 0. So using numbers that we know, we create a formula. All right? Find the distance between the two, divide it by two, or take half of it, and add it to the smallest coordinate. And that puts you right in the middle. All right? And that's where the two comes from in the formula. Any questions on finding the distance or finding the midpoint? Yeah? Say that a little louder. This one right here? How did we get the negative 6? It's, it's the value at A. We wanted the midpoint between A and D or D and A. We wanted to find the middle of that segment. Okay? The middle of this segment right here. Well, we found out how far it was from A to D. And that was, um, it was like 7 divided by 2. It was 7 units from A to D. We divided it by 2 to get half of it. And that gave us 3.5. We added that to the smallest coordinate. So we went this way, 3.5, and it put us at negative 2.5. Your assignment for today is right here. Please write this down on your paper first.
just the way it's written on the on the wall. And that's not a 3D up there, that's a page 30. After every odd problem that you do, check it in the back of the book. I repeat, after every odd problem that you do, check it in the back of the book and make sure that you check Edline for homework.